Thanks for visiting Canada Drive Safe. This is a quick tutorial on our iPhone 3G FM transmitter and hands-free car kit. Now we've sold thousands and thousands of these worldwide and we've had nothing but great reviews. Um, however, we do get uh, customers time to time that send us emails and uh, don't know how to use the product correctly even though we have the uh, video set up but uh, there are some technical details that uh, I want to cover in this video so right now we're going to show you exactly um, how, how to go through with all that stuff so when you receive the device this is the complete uh, Canada drive safe unit there are other units out there um, some are called the all kits some are called the media gate some are the eye kit those are all fakes to this device we've had this uh, for about two and a half years now so ever since the first generation iPhone came out uh, this has been uh, out so this is our product and uh, any other one you purchase make sure that they are FCC and CE approved because if they're not uh, it could damage something uh, in your iPhone or, or whatnot so anyhow let's let's go on from here I'm gonna take the iPhone here and we're gonna put it in uh, switched it to that okay so once you get it in there uh, I do have a slim line case in there you can use slim cases with this device you can't use thick bulky cases it won't fit um, so only thin cases will fit because it's 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 uh, typically made to fit just the iPhone um, so we're gonna plug the charger into the bottom here and this charger right here, it not only charges it, but it does the FM transmission. And without this, you can't have the FM transmission. So excuse me, I'm just doing this with one hand here. Oh boy, hold on one second. There you go. Okay, so as soon as you plug it in, it's going to start charging. and. Um, up here at the top, 88.7. I recommend 88.5 to 88.7 to even 90, um, around 90 point uh, to 90.9. Those are the only stations that you want to use. You don't want to use any other stations because uh, you'll get bad interference. You want a station that's like a low uh, budget radio station, then the FM transmission will override. Um, so now we're going to set the station there to 88.7, which I have done, and we're going to hit play. Okay, clear transmission, and you can put it up really loud. Alright, you can see how clear that is. Now, what people do is they will plug in the hands-free section right here. Now, you, this cord that you receive, it's a 3.5 milliliter cord, uh, millimeter cord. When you plug this in, this is what you're going to use for hands-free. So as soon as you plug it in to the side of the port, and then you're going to plug it in to the iPhone on the top. So as soon as you plug that in, and they email us and they say, why is the volume low? Because now you have to turn it up, and it's not as clear. Well, it's really, really simple fix. When you had this plugged out, and you had it playing, it was loud. But when you plugged it in, it went low. All you have to do is on your iPhone, you'll notice when you raise the volume, see that? And that's it. That's the fix for that. Now, same thing goes when you're making a phone call. So if I go to make a phone call, and I'm gonna call, uh, so I'm calling the office, and it transfers automatically, and it goes to call. Now, right now, you can barely hear the person. You can barely hear the ringer. Uh, one second, okay? See, I can barely hear him. But if you go to the volume, and you put it all the way up, it'll, and then put the volume up on there. Now we can talk. Al? Yeah. Right. Hey, I'm good, I'm good. So I was just testing this unit out, and uh, just want to, uh, I'm, just, I'm just showing customers how um, uh, the, the different problems that people are having with the actual complete unit. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, take all right thanks. So now as soon as it, as soon as it turns off, he's gonna hang up. And it's going to go back to the music. And that's it. Um, other problems are when you receive the 
actual device, I'm going to show you one last thing. When you receive this in the mail, what I want you to do is right here you'll see this is a tightening clip right here. You're going to tighten this as much as you can. Um, reason being is some people complain that when they pull this out, it gets it, the whole thing pulls out in their cigarette lighter. So right here, I just want you to tighten it as much as you can. And that's it. This right here, the silicone, do not remove this. This is actually uh, a silicone stud in there that's, that keeps the... Um, the complete from rotating around so it's an anti-rotation device and uh, that's it that's those are the common problems that we have with returns for customers that don't know how to use the product otherwise um, than that the you can see that the device sits perfectly in the car it doesn't matter if it's mounted uh, the wall style or if it's wall uh, mounted uh, to the to the ground style and that's really it thank you for taking the time to check out our products if you have any questions at all please feel free to send us an email um, you can reach us at sales at canada drive dot com or uh, just check out the link on the top right hand corner there with all our address information thanks again and have yourself a great day